thought I would do a little demonstration video so that if you're ever struggling for something to do for your music revision, now Miss Flynn and Mr Henderson are making up uh, Teams assignments based on some of this material but I thought it might be an idea just to show you so that if you're ever struggling for something to do or you want to get more practice etc etc then you have this fantastic resource available on our website so if you're looking to, to do more practice oh, just to prove I'm in school, that's the bell that's just to make you all feel at home the bell and if you go to the music and drama section okay, sorry I'm already there, sorry and you scroll down Now, if you scroll down, you'll actually find all the work that you've been doing up until lockdown. So there's all your National 5 music tasks. So something you could do, if you want a bit of revision, is just go over them all again. They're all there, including some of the tests that you did, which is very handy. If you just want some revision, they're all there. They are National 5 Classical Unit Test. Many things that you did before lockdown, they're all there. Okay? Now, keep going down underneath this bold italics those are the two revision websites that we keep going on about and there are quizzes there's lots of different stuff on there too to keep you busy so at the end because sometimes you're in for a double period in music so if you find yourself with a bit of time in your hands because of course you can't go on and do practical although I'm going to come to that later eh, then you can just go back through some revision stuff here underneath the higher stuff you can find the two, excuse me, I scroll down too much I think. Sorry, yeah, National 5 Music Practice Book of Audio Files. Sorry, I missed that. I scrolled down too much. Okay, National 5 Music Practice Book of Audio Files. If you click on that, I'm going to show you how to use this, although if you were in my class, I think I've shown you this several times. This is the booklet we're looking for here, so click on here. And what I'm going to do is copy and paste that onto another tab, or into another tab, I should say. Right, so I now have my audio files here. And here I have my audio files, but I don't want audio files, I want the related PDF booklet. So I have got one tab of the audio files, one tab of the PDF booklet, and let's just say I want to try a question or so. So let's just say I want to start a question a 1D. Yeah, question 1D. So you click on here, and this is what I've spent a lot of time doing. I've got to catalogue these so they're very easy to follow. He says 1D. Yep. So I click on question 1D. It plays question 1D. Now, there's no voiceover, remember. You might just have to read the question. This question oh, is based on orchestral music. I do apologise. Some of the questions don't have a voiceover, so you just have to read the question and the music will start right away. Or some of the questions do have a voiceover like this one. Okay, so just, just be prepared for that. That's the whole point of making up this video, just so that you're not confused when that happens. Okay? Hey, listen to the following excerpt okay, and, and tick two boxes, boxes to, to describe, describe what, what you hear. hear. Okay, so we're going to hear oboes, trumpets, inverted pedal. Now, this is where, if you see a word that you don't understand, for example, I don't know what coda means, I can't remember what coda means, etc. Well, what you could do is open up another tab, and you could have those revision websites that I just talked about on this tab, and you could click on coda, find out what it means, listen to that example, and then go back and do the question. Yeah, that's the, so therefore it's all, it's all there for you to do. So the answer for this one, let's have a listen to it. I think I hear trumpets. <laughs> Ornaments. Trumpets. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So there you go. I noticed that I didn't write anything down. I didn't have to do that. Do I need to send that to a teacher, etc.? No, Miss Flynn's going to make up assignments for you. It's just old-fashioned study stuff. A really old-fashioned word. You just study... And why do you study? Do you send it to your teacher, etc.? You study to learn, right? But of course, if you did want, did want to send anything to us, of course we'll mark it. Maybe you want to send it an email or something. Of course we'll do all of that. But the main thing is practice, practice, practice. Okay? All there for you to do. Everything.
price. Okay, right, that's step one. Step two, so you've done that, etc. So step two, let's go to YouTube. And we'll find the Coat Best High School Music channel. I'll show you, if some of you are, were asking about doing practical work. Okay, Coat Best High School Music Resources. Mr. Johnson has been a very busy man. Okay, and so, and so is Mr. Henderson, Miss Flynn. Of course they have, right? So, uh, at the moment, it's, I, I, as, I talk, as I say, I, as, I, as I make this recording, I should say, I've only actually put on one National 5 drum tune, but there's going to be more. All of them are going to be here by the end of the day. Okay, so you can see me. Oh, who's that? Who's that guy? Oh, that makes. Surely I'm not as bald as that crush, real life. At the end of every yeah. uh, and you can see that if you want to practice some uh, drum kit stuff. I walk a lonely road, the only one that I have ever known. Right. Don't know where so the idea behind these videos is that even if you don't have a drum kit at home. Right, you can look at the angle, the camera angle that I've put here. You can look at the music, you can look at the drum kit at the same time, and you can play along in fresh air. Right, the old air guitar stuff, you've probably heard of that before, the air guitar, and you can practice. Now, most of you in fourth year will probably know your tunes. You've done really well this year, a lot of the drummers, you've done really, really well. So you probably know these tunes. So this video is just to keep the practice up, just keep you being familiar with you are familiar with the tunes, so you don't you don't lose them. You don't lose the practice. You don't lo lose the knowledge. Right? So they're all there. So by the time you do that, uh, you look at by the time you're what you by the time you're watching this video, if you go on our YouTube channel, all of your tunes will be there. I'm just finishing them off tonight. Okay. There's also an instructional. I mean, you probably don't need this, but there's also an instructional video for Boulevard. Okay. Right, poor sound quality on this one for some reason, but that's one where I just go over the beats. Right, so that's, that's basically a lesson on Boulevard, okay, for you to do. Right, so some people were asking about maybe tune percussion. So once again, tune percussion, I've designed these in such a way where you can actually this learn... This uh, green sleeves. So for two. One, two... As you can see, I've designed these in such a way where this is like a virtual app. So if you had this on your phone, you could actually play along with this with your thumb and learn the tune. If that makes sense, yeah, it's like a, it's almost as if someone is playing the app, and all you've got to do is follow the notes and learn the tune. So all of the National Five tune percussion music is all there. Okay, now I'll not spend too much time. This video is going to be very long. The keyboard stuff is all there as well. You should have a keyboard at home if you're keyboard. If you don't, get in touch with your teacher, right? Uh, and let me think, the guitar stuff, as you know, all of you should have guitar music at home. Once again, if you don't, get in touch with your teacher. Something that I'm actually going to do, because I've actually only really learned how to do this recently, is for the guitar stuff. All the backing tracks are there for the guitar stuff. Where's the guitar stuff, Mr. Johnson? There's National 5 bass guitar, higher bass guitar, National 5 guitar, that's there, yep, yeah, National 5 guitar is there. The one the guitar. So I have posted some of the music like this, and the backing tracks are all here with the tune to play along with, etc. But as you can see, because that's blank, there's no music there. So what I'm going to do maybe over the weekend is try, if I've got time, to make up new backing tracks with the music that appears at the same time. A little bit similar to what I've done on the drum kit stuff. Just to, so I know it's a bit confusing, but I'll show you what I mean. If I go back to the National 5 drum kit, where was that video I used for the National 5 drum kit? Right, there it's there. What I've, only, I've recently learned to do is have the music appear along with the backing track at the most of, at, at the right time. So if you listen to Boulevard, you'll hear, look. What you'll hear is the music will change as the backing track changes, look. Here, 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 fill in coming up. And the music's going to change to the next bit. Change. Right. So I've only recently learned how to do that, but I didn't, when I made up the guitar backing tracks, I didn't know how to do that. So I've, I've said to Mr. Henderson, Miss Flynn, I'm going to make up new backing tracks for the guitar stuff where the music will appear. You don't really need that because you've got copies of the music and you've got the backing tracks and you've got the tracks where it contains the melody of Mr. Cooper playing along so you know the correct melody to use. But I think it is handy because the great thing about this new system that I'm doing is you don't need anything else apart from your phone. As long as you've got your phone, as long as you've got your tablet, or as long as you've got your computer, 
for example, here, you don't need the music because it's on the screen at the same time. And I've actually done that for some of the higher stuff as well. So I think that's everything. So you could do a traditional music lesson, a bit of listening, yeah, using this booklet, and then a bit of performing using these videos uh, to, keep, to keep the practice up. And I think that's all. Uh, because that was quite a long video, but that's just a video for all the fourth year because we realise now that a lot of what we're heading into a, a time a timetable where, for example, next week, I think I've got uh, my fourth year for six periods next week, double periods. So it just means that you've always got something to do. Now, I do reiterate, Miss Flynn is posting stuff, posting assignments for you to do Teams assignments, but as well as that, there's this additional resource for extension material. So you've always got something to do. I mean, look at that booklet, for example. Right, you're not going to tell me, look at that booklet. There, there, look, there's a start in the booklet. There's a start up there. Look, look how long it's got to scroll down. Right, look at the amount of audio files that you've got to work through. Always something to practice for your music class. Right, and as well as that, all these videos are there available for you to practice along with. Fourth year, we'll keep in touch. We will get there. We'll get through this. I'm sure you'll do very well indeed. Thank you very much.